State House Head of Legal Affairs Joy Kabatsi has scoffed at media reports suggesting that President Museveni was aware of the 169 billion shillings that was paid to city businessman Hassan Basaje Balaba in compensation for government's revocation of his tenders to run two Kampala markets. Let the public not think that the president knew because the president would agree to you and tell you, yes, I knew this amount. He's not a president who will miss his words if he knows about any matter. The money was paid in 2009 with the approval of the Attorney General, the Chief Government Legal Advisor. The then Attorney General, Professor Kidu Makubuya, and then Finance Minister Saida Bumba are now under fire from MPs who want them censured for their alleged role in the loss of taxpayers' money. And I, as I talk now, by Monday, if at all, we are to reach Monday, but officially we are going to begin with uh, writing a petition for the President through the Speaker by Monday. The legislators insist that other officials involved in the inflated compensation must be punished as well. We are saying all technocrats who are involved in this deal also have to go. But in a new development, Mark India East MP John Simba has cancelled his signature that he earlier appended for the censure motion. The reason remains unclear. It has also emerged that government has stepped up its efforts of fighting corruption by drafting a new bill known as the Quitam Bill. The bill will provide citizens the opportunity of suing the government or any government official it deems corrupt. Then you go and report your case to the Attorney General and say, I have got every evidence, look here, that this man is really involved in this corrupt act. And the Attorney General has nothing to do but to give you all support, even meet the bills of your continuous hearings that you are going to perform. Until you come through successful, at your success, you get your percentage. The bill is still in its formative stage and will later be submitted to Cabinet for discussion. Chris Ochamringa, NTV.